So I'm in a hotel room at VidCon. Actually, don't know if you can even see anything in here. The exposure is the light is so low, but it's Friday, and I woke up at six o'clock in the morning with a migraine. So I've only had it for my watch on my arm right here says. Six hours, that's not bad. Um, the pain's going down, but I'm still moping. Oh, man. But anyways, I water at some point. Um, I realized yesterday that I do not tell anecdotes about myself and my life. This doesn't seem like a very like revelatory thing, but I have for a while now wanted to incorporate more of my own sort of personal history and life story and stuff into my work, into my writing. And I was listening to Mike Rugnetta's episode, Echoic Memory of Reasonably Sound. I noticed that I just liked the way that he vignetted his uh, sort of childhood experience of looking at um, his aunt's belongings. And I asked him about it at the panel on podcasting yesterday. And he said like, oh, well, you know, your life is interesting just because you're with yourself all the time doesn't mean that your story wouldn't be interesting to other people. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized, like, I don't tell a story about myself to other people, really. Mostly because I don't remember it all that well. At a party last weekend, I realized that I forgot a Sven and I's wedding. Apparently, we went to the woods, a redwood forest up Northern California somewhere, and said vows and took pictures. But I don't remember any of that. I remember going to the courthouse and signing the paperwork. I remember the young, maybe Chinese, woman in line behind us. She and her husband were dressed to the nines. Beautiful dress and suit. And Steve and I were just in normal street clothes. <laughs> that I remember. But... I can't believe I forgot that we got, we had a wedding. I don't know. It doesn't scare me, really, to have forgotten so much of my own life. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like the frightening kind of loss that people describe with Alzheimer's. It just feels like... a soft sort of blankness behind me, I guess. The way that a <laughs> giant white hotel bed feels. Not homey, just sort of comfortable and available. But then I think, would I even know that I had forgotten my whole life if Steve and I hadn't been together for so long? Spud and I had an 11 year anniversary a month ago. 
That's a big deal when you're 30. And it's interesting. He's like this transactive memory storage machine. And I often realize that I've forgotten something only because he can describe it in great detail. It's like, well, do you remember this part or this part or this part? And it's at that point that I'm like, oh, right. But then, last night, I did tell an anecdote, a very short one, about how the last time that I gave a homeless man in San Francisco money, he yelled at me um, and thought that $2 was not an acceptable donation. Uh, he was very upset. <laughs> and I think the um, one of my first responses was like, okay, I can tell anecdotes, but unfortunately that one's only three days old. Maybe if I just keep telling three day old anecdotes on camera, then it won't just be Steve who remembers my life. It'll be you too. <laughs> <laughs>